Welcome to Of Men, For Men. Here we'll discuss issues pertaining to the modern day man. Subjects like health, wealth, lifestyle, gear, and relationships. So join me as we dive into the world of men for men. Hello and welcome to the Of Men for Men podcast. I am your host, James Rodney Lemax. Come on in, kick back, relax, grab yourself a go. (laughs) Yeah, settle on in. We're going to dive into this thing. What are we talking about today? Well, is it hard work or is it just luck? Hmm. Hard work or luck? Yeah. Pontificate on that for just a second. Because <laughs> we about to pontificate on but first, <laughs> I hope you had a good week. We about to uh, ease on into the weekend. We in the middle of the week now. It's hump day. You know, we getting over the hump. We gonna slide into the weekend. I'll try to pop one of these, one more of these off before the weekend. Give you something to, give you something to cruise through the weekend with. If any of y'all was paying attention, we had an election last night, yesterday, last night. Looks like these, uh, these, uh, lefty leftoid, uh, <clears throat> super liberals didn't do too good. Trying to tell everybody what to do, trying to tell parents they don't have no say so in their kids' education. That probably don't sit too well with most people because most people have kids, <laughs> no matter who you are. You know, left, right, you know, black, white, green, brown, purple with pink polka dots. It don't matter. People have kids and you can't tell them what, but, you know, that they don't have no say in their child's education. Of course they do. Of course they do. But that's not what these people want to do. They want, they want to indoctrinate your kids from the cradle to the grave. That's, that, that's what it is now. From the cradle to the grave. They haven't kindergarten. Now they haven't. <clears throat> now they haven't kindergarten and pre K. Pre kindergarten. They haven't kindergarten for kindergarten. They're trying to get your kids earlier and earlier so they, can, so they can get one more year in, indoctrinate their ass, fill their heads full of mush. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, just like a computer, junk in, junk out. Just like a computer, whatever you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And men, if you got kids, you need to be involved in their lives. You need to be finding out what's going on if you don't. You should be involved in your children's lives as much as you can possibly be. I know there are some females who use the kids as pawns against you and try to keep them away from you as much as possible. But, you know, to the extent of your abilities and whatever legalities you can, you need to be involved as much as you possibly can. As much as you can be. I know that might not be the same for all. But it looks like um, it ain't going to be looking too good uh, for the liberals here coming up. Doesn't look too good for the home team. (laughs) You 
you know, these midterms are going to be brutal on their ass. Unless they get some shit turned around and they too damn dumb to do it. You know, that's the problem. I don't understand. You know, you got the, the, the Republicans, you know, for the most part, nobody gives a damn about your race. We, we, we're talking about ideas over here, you know, for the most part. And I'm not a, a hardcore Republican. Don't don't get me wrong, because I know that, that at the base, at the core, neither one of them are looking out for my best interest. But at least they do talk on platitudes. They talk on, you know, ideas. Whereas the Democrat Party, when they when they speak, they speak, they try to divide everybody up into groups and get everybody's emotions worked up. That's why they use the language they do. And that's why they want to control the language to keep other people from expressing their ideas. So I've spent enough time on that. Let's get into hard work or luck. Hard work or luck? Well, luck or no luck, you need to work hard. You need to be the best at what you can do to your abilities, you know, your uh, faculties. You need to learn all you can learn. You know, your mind, your body, your spirit should be the best. Should be, especially when you're young. When you get older, you know, you kind of start running into limitations. That's what's happening to me at this at this point in, in my life. Um, you know, all the use and abuse over the years. You know, my body's starting to break down, and that's fine. I mean, that's what happens when you get old. You're not physically able to do the things that you used to do because your body ages. It doesn't, <clears throat> you know, repair itself the way it used to be. It takes longer to heal. It breaks easy easier, and that's okay. But when you're young you, and you're running at your peak performance, you should be doing everything within your power, you know, to maintain and, 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 and run at that peak performance. You should be working as hard as you can because, you know, that's that's when you get ahead. That's when, when you establish yourself. You know, then once you get older, see, then you've got all that behind you. And you have the knowledge and the experience. And then you can use more of your mind and less of your body because you already you already know it and you've already done it. You've been there, done that, you got the t-shirt. So yes, hard work has got a lot to do with your success, with your uh, station in life, you know, with where you're at. You know, in your in your job and your relation, even in relationships, you gotta, you know, there's hard work involved in that. Some people might not think so, but there, there's work involved in that. It, relationships ain't easy, man. That's why so many of them fail, because a lot of people just ain't willing to give it the effort. You know, as, as soon as things start to go south, they just like, man, you know, screw this, I'm out. They just give up on stuff, and they give up on people. You know, which, you know, means like, you know, they, they, they may or may not have been committed in the first in the first place. That's why I say you need you need to you need to vet any female that you're with, you know, it, it, especially if you plan on having any kind of, you know, long term relationship or, you know, should you decide to get married. Should you decide to do that, you need to vet that person. Find out as much as you can about them and their background. You know, is this person going to be somebody who's going to quit on you? You know, who's going to, you know, bail as soon as things start to get hard, as soon as they start to get rocky. Because we all know that life has its ups and downs. We all know that. What's the old saying? You know, you don't get to be, you know, a masterful sailor or an expert sailor by sailing smooth seas. How does it, how does he get to be a masterful sailor? By sailing rough seas. 
by being able to navigate and, 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 and adapt and overcome and negotiate that, that, that rough sea. So there's work. Yes, work counts. It counts. Don't think it don't. Work matters. There's work involved in it. Now, I know. <clears throat> I know. I know. Like, But well, there are some people that are just born into stuff. I understand that. You know, like, you know, how, how did Bill Gates get all his money? Is he just that big of a damn genius? Well, he is a genius. I mean, I guess he scores that high on his IQ. But he, he come from a wealthy family and went to a high, uh, you know, a prestigious school and had access to computers in the day when nobody had access to computers. I didn't see a computer until I got to high school. And he's way older than I am. You know, he got me by 10 years or more. <clears throat> so he had access to, to computers when nobody did. You know, not even most adults. So that's part of his good fortune. This, this is where we're getting into the luck kind of part of it. Born from wealthy parents, prestigious high school, access to computers... And he was at the right time in the right place. Those things happen too. There are lots of musicians, you know, you know like, you know, your, your Eddie Van Halen's and your Stevie Ray Vaughan's and, you know, lots of other musicians that make it to the big time. They put in the hard work. They practice, you know, Five, six, eight hours a day. They practiced and practiced and practiced. But not they're not the only ones. Lots of people did. Lots of people. But they happen to be in the right place at the right time to get discovered, to be seen by the right people, heard by the right people. They put in the work, you know. They got their bands together, they practiced. They rehearsed, they did a lot of gigs, they honed their skills, they honed their talents. And then when the time come, <clears throat> you know, they had that little bit of luck, that little bit of happenstance. Where they get seen, they get heard, and then somebody decides to move on that, you know? They're like, hey. These guys are good, they're talented, and they see an opportunity. Most of the time, they see an opportunity where they can make money. <laughs> you know, they're not trying to do the bands necessarily any favors. But yeah, they have talent, and they can use that talent, and they can make money from that talent. Of course, they're going to get, you know, the band is going to you know, make money unless they sign, you know, some kind of rotten deal, which some of them do. Ask those those guys from Quiet Riot back in the day. I'm dating myself with all these early 80s bands, right? <clears throat> you know, they sign shitty deals and they get shitty money. Everybody's getting rich but them. <laughs> you know, and they're doing the hard work, but they ain't getting no payoff. But then, again, they, they, shined, they signed a crappy deal. So there is some luck. There is some happenstance. The stars have to align sometimes. You know, there are some players in the NFL that are outstanding players, outstanding quarterbacks, running backs, what have you. You know, they were great in college, and then you see them get to the NFL, and then they don't seem to quite pan out. You know, they did all the hard work. They put in the time, the effort. And they don't seem to quite pan, pan out. And it ain't because they have off, off field activities like some of them. They get in the NFL and they get paid all that money and then they start acting a fool. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the guys that, you know, that are, that are taking care of their business. And you wonder, why didn't this guy ever pan out? Well, some, sometimes they have injuries, they get an injury. 
or they got a head coach that for whatever reason don't like them that <laughs> that used to happen to me in the service you know it's like it wasn't but one or maybe two first sergeants that I ever had when I was in the service even gave a crap about me you know a couple of them liked me but the rest of them for whatever reason I wasn't their pet and they didn't like me for whatever reason so I had to fight for everything that I had even when I had it coming I still had to fight for it And sometimes, you know, they get on the wrong team, they get on the wrong, they get the wrong coach, they're in, and that coach is running a different system than what they're used to. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, line up with their talents, you know, or the coach is trying to make, make them do something that they're not really that talented to do. So they don't, you know, it doesn't benefit them and it doesn't benefit the team. So they then they, well, you know, he's just rotten. He ain't no good. Well, it's not that because you can see we're, one player moved from one team. Uh, who is that, that that quarterback now? Tannehill. He was in Miami. Everybody thought, oh, well, he just washed up. He ain't no good. Then he went to Tennessee, got a different coach. They were running a different system. And now you can see that, that Tannehill is a good quarterback. He got the right coach. He's in the right system. He's on the right team, surrounded by the right players. He's put in the hard work. He's got the talent. He's got the skills. And then you get that little bit of luck. The stars align for you. Go with another uh, quarterback analogy, another NFL analogy, Dan Marino. One of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Held, held nearly every, well, he, he, he held every uh, passing record that was worth having. At one time, I'm, you know, I know they've been surpassed now, but at one time, you know, he he held them all, man. <laughs> he had all. Went to one Super Bowl. Of course, who did they play? San Francisco 49ers with Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Well, shit, that was the end of that story. But that was only his second year in the league. You're like, oh, shit. He's going to be back next year or the year after that. Nope. Not that Dan Marino wasn't talented. Not that he didn't put in the hard work. He did that every year. But the coach was old, running an old system. Never had the right players around him. He, he, you know, had to pass all the time. Never had a, never had any running backs that were worth the crap. Only had one, really one set of receivers that were really all that good. That was Mark Clayton and Mark Duke. The Marks brothers. You remember that that's old school for some of y'all and some of y'all know who I'm talking about <laughs> you know I mean he set records but again hard work and then you get a little bit of you get a break everybody needs a break everybody deserves a break Every, you know I mean it happens you know I mean sometimes when they say, you know, if the door don't open, build a new door. Sometimes sometimes you can do that, but not in every application. Sometimes you just need to keep knocking on the door. Sometimes persistence works. You just keep knocking and you just keep coming back. And they're like, man, this guy really wants this, man. This guy's bugging me to death. And sometimes they'll just, they'll just give you the job or, or, or give you the position or whatever, just... Just so you leave them alone. You're like, all right, all right. <laughs> you know? But sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it's just persistence. But again, you're making, you're making your own luck. You're putting in a little bit of work there. You're making your own luck. So bottom line is, yeah, it is hard work. Yes, it is luck. <laughs> uh, sure, that's not what you wanted to hear. But it takes, it takes... You have to do the hard work regardless. You, you can't just be lucky because sooner or later you're going to get found out and you're going to, everybody's going to know you're incompetent and, you know, then the bottom falls out. So, you know, you can't just be lucky all your life, you know, because you, you can't maintain anything like that. You can get lucky for a little while and you, then your luck runs out, right? So you have to do the hard work. And then sometimes you just need a little break. So yes, it's both. 
you need you need the hard work and <clears throat> excuse me and you need a little work uh, I'm sorry and you need a little break all right gentlemen I'm gonna close with that we'll keep it short and sweet uh man we we pushing uh eight thousand downloads real close we're uh, over uh, 7800 now the followers are steady climbing and I appreciate each and every one of you like share subscribe share it with your friends if you think they might be interested in it share it on social media you know I, I really appreciate appreciate each and every one of you um, you know I enjoy doing this and I enjoy getting on here and you know and, and trying to enlighten men and <clears throat> you know give you a little bit of a wisdom if I can a little bit of comedy if I can <laughs> you know if nothing else me you know you can laugh at me that's all right um, but yeah check out the social media sites check out uh what is uh, Facebook Instagram Twitter gab locals and parlor yeah we got the, I got the parlor account back up today I don't know how I did it <laughs> I was looking around on the online looking for some crap parlor somehow came up whatever and I said man let me see if I can get back into this account you know because you remember when they shut down temporarily everything went down and then I couldn't get back into my account so I said man let me try to get back into this thing so <clears throat> I fooled around with it for a little while and then I got back in so you know uh, I updated you know the, the photos and the, the, and the bio and uh, posted a couple things but yeah so I know some of you are on parlor not everybody's on everything but you know I try to have and I got several accounts for backups you know because you need it these days with all the social justice warrior and cancel culture and this that and the other you need it that's why you know I have some on the traditional and then I have three you know the gab the locals and the parlor which are you know free speech oriented I don't have to worry about being censored or being canceled you know whereas Facebook Instagram and Twitter you know they're part of the uh you know of the uh, big tech world you know so you're getting constantly getting censored and you know uh, trashed on there you know for every little thing that you do so that's why I've got it divided that way and have several accounts so you can find me and I know not you know you guys are on different platforms you know everybody's on a different platform everybody has their own favorite so that's why I have it spread out like that so hopefully you'll find me on one of them or one or more. Um, if you're not, you're missing half the show. Half the show is on there. You know, I'm I'm, I'm posting all kind of stuff, if, articles and uh, you know all kind of crap. You know, anything that I think that my you know the audience, my audience, I'd say, you know, not that you belong to me, but you know the of men for men audience, you know, might find interesting. Um, you know, I try to post it up. You know, and give you. And, and let you read it, you know. And I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily pushing anything. I'm just uh, giving you an opportunity to read it, you know, and look at it and judge for yourself, you know. All right, gentlemen. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have been James, Rodney Lemax, and you have been great. Yeah. This will be a weekly podcast. You can find it on the Anchor app and anywhere podcasts are available. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. I look forward to seeing you there.